Come with me to a land far away. Hey guys, so I didn't realize that my music was so loud, so I'm just doing a little voiceover or whatever. Um, yeah, because you can't hear what I'm saying. But this is how you charge your shampoo or anything to pretty much do what you want it to. Such as bring in things, you know, whatever it is you want. And yes, I am in the shower, so guys, bear with me. Okay, guys, so I have my shampoo here, and I charge this shampoo to bring to me abundance, to bring to me money, whatever you want to bring to you. I charge this to bring me a good day, and then I want you to say it. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I charge and activate this shampoo to bring me a good day, or to bring me whatever, money, whatever. I charge and activate this shampoo to bring me money. Money comes to me now. Money loves me now. This shampoo will stay on my head all day, all the time, and it will bring me money, money, money. And then, you know what? We're going to put this on our you guessed it, crown chakra, the top of our head. We're going to wash our hair, right? Okay, so we charged and activated this. Now, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I charge and activate this. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. It is so, it is so, it is so, and so it is. So mote it be. All right? So we're going to put this up, and we're going to charge it, and we're going to imagine bright white light coming from the heavens into this shampoo and we are going to close our eyes and we are going to see whatever it is if we ask for a happy day we are going to see a happy day if we ask for money we are going to see money coming into our bank account or money flowing into us okay so i obviously cannot show you me rubbing this between my hands and putting it up to the heavens but you're going to have to imagine it because i'm in the shower and i have one hand all right <laughs> all right guys i'll be right back Okay guys, now I shampooed my hair like normal and I kept saying I charged this to bring me money or happiness or whatever I was going to be bringing. Alright, and well, it's going to work. Now I just have to finish shampooing. Okay guys, so I'm going to really scrub this in and I'm going to imagine it. I have one of these. I don't know if you guys have one of these, but... I love this thing. It makes my head feel so good. And did you know if you have wrinkles or whatever, this helps. Or if you don't want to get wrinkles, you do all around your head. And it actually keeps your skin from sagging as much. Okay? I learned that <laughs> recently. Um, I'm the lady I follow for my workout videos. I do have a mix. If you guys want to see it, just comment down below. And I will make it so you all can see it. And, um, yeah, this is the weirdest video I've ever done because I'm in the shower, clearly. So, guys, as I rinse my hair, I'm also going to imagine dollar bills follow, flowing from my shower head into me. Or bright light flowing from my shower head into me. Or happiness into my crown chakra. Okay? So, I'll be back after I'm done in the shower, guys. Okay guys, so I am out of the shower. I did that with my shampoo. Both times I shampooed because I washed my hair twice. First to get the gunk out, the second time is just to absorb, you know, the good stuff into my scalp. Um, anyways, you're supposed to wash twice. And then when I did my conditioner, I did it again and I just continued with my body wash and all that stuff. So you can literally do spells in your shower without any products besides what you already have and already use. Your mind is an amazing thing. If you expand your consciousness, you can make your mind do it, but you have to be powerful and you have to try it every day, every day. Do it, do it, keep doing it. And the more power you put into it, the more energy you put into it, the better you manifest. All right, guys, so yeah, that is what I do with all of my products. My conditioner, my shampoo, anything I put in my cleaning solutions. Yes, I make my own cleaning solutions because I do not want my children to get hurt from something that I used to clean. It's just not worth it to me. If you guys want to see that, let me know. 
um, because I do charge the products as I make my cleaning solution. I do this with my lotion. You know, I've lost 20 pounds. I went keto. Not just because I wanted to lose weight, but also because I wanted to be healthy. If you guys have watched any of my previous videos, you would know I have PCOS. And that has a lot of uncomfortable crap. My doctor put me on this medicine, and I'm just not a big medicine person. I've been watching my mother on medicine pretty much since I was like seven. And when they give her a medicine, they're like, well, you have this symptom because of your medicine. So take this medicine to cure that symptom. And to me, it's just like she's on like 30 or different medications that don't really help all that much because they have all these crappy side effects. Anyway. I'm a natural medicine person. I've shown you my antidepressant that I use, but if you guys want to see the rest of my medicines, I do take supplements and things like that, but all only all natural. I don't even like antibiotics. If I have something I need an antibiotic for, there's this one I buy that's all natural from Dr. Christopher. I really like Dr. Christopher products. Um, I don't like my children on medicine as well. You know, if I have a headache or something, I used to get really bad migraines, guys, before I went keto terrible migraines because my first ex-husband he literally pushed me into a towel bar and I found out 15 years later that that was causing my headaches because he pushed me so hard that it was like I had whiplash and my vertebrae literally started to bend in the direction of the one that was messed up or whatever so I have these problems but since I've quit eating sugar since I've went keto I don't have these migraines anymore, guys. When my children are sick, I literally give them a garlic pouch and I put it on their lymph nodes and just for like five, 10 minutes, depending on their age. And yeah, that speeds it up. Plus elderberry gummies, guys. So if you guys wanna know any of these, like mom tips, witchy, whatever, I don't know. What, you, what do you guys wanna see? Let me know what you wanna see. I'm happy to provide what you wanna see. Um, so, yeah, guys, I don't know. We I just got to babbling. I do that a lot. You know, I call the doctors or whatever, and I end up just talking to the lady at the reception, and she's laughing her butt off, and I'm just blabbing and whatever. You know, it pays to be friendly to people, and she's like, you know, I was having a real bad day, but you totally made my day. You made it better. Guys, it pays to be nice to people. Sorry. So yeah, she told me at the dentist, she's like, we are not taking new patients right now because of COVID. And I told her my situation and I made her laugh and we just talked and we, you know, I just went on and on about pretty much whatever, you know, my life. And she related and she's like, you know what? I can get him in tomorrow. Tomorrow when there wasn't anything. First it was, okay, we can take him in April and then I can get him in tomorrow. It pays to be nice to people, guys. It really does. Make them laugh, make them smile, make their day. If you like their shirt, be like, hey, I like your shirt. Or be like, so, you got any kids? You know, and then if they say, yeah, I got kids, be like, cool, how many kids you got? You know, and then you can talk about their kids and your kids. And, you know, people are so cold to other people and it really drives me insane. So I went to Walmart the other day and this guy, he's just being so mean to the lady that worked there because maybe she was new, maybe she wasn't, whatever. She was just having a hard time. And for some reason, um, when it was my turn, I'm like, you know, she's like, I'm so sorry, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, don't be sorry. I'm like, that guy's a dick. Sorry, but he was. He was like, I'm running late, I'm running late. You made me wait for work, blah, blah, blah. Well, you know what? Sometimes you have to be patient. Sometimes people are learning. Sometimes people are having a bad day and I hate that. I hate that people are rude. I hate rude people. Does anybody else hate rude people? Anyways, I was talking to her and she told me how her son had just died. He got murdered by five men. And of course, me being a medium, well, all of a sudden her son came to me and started talking through me, which I don't really remember everything that was said because, well, he did that. So I'm not afraid of ghosts, you know? A lot of them come to me. And especially if someone tells me about their dead person, 
it'll come to me. And I just did the, this reading for this beautiful soul. She wanted to talk to her dead fiance and I did a channeled love reading, a channeled love letter, sorry, for her. And it turned out so beautiful, guys, but it wasn't even my handwriting. It was like he just hopped in my body and took over my arm and just started writing. It was amazing and it was beautiful. Um, yeah. And when people come to me and they have messages for other people, like I know someone just died and well, I can't tell their family these messages because what are they going to think? Oh, this girl thing is crazy. She, she says she can see these ghosts. Well, I can, I can hear them. I can see them. I can feel them, which is a blessing by the way. It's not scary. So yeah, I mean, I can see them. I can hear them. I can feel them. Um, I'm not afraid. I don't look at it as a fear. Oh my God, there's a dead person around me. No, I look at it as a blessing because I can still contact and speak with my people that, that have passed on. And why do they hang around me? I don't have a clue. Maybe because I can see them and maybe they want someone they can talk to or maybe they want a message for their family. But I don't want to be the crazy girl the crazy girl that, oh, you think you can see ghosts. Well, I can. But that doesn't make me crazy. It makes me blessed. Right? That's the way I see it. Was I scared at first? Yeah, kind of. But they just want to say goodbye. It's like that song by Joey and Rory to say goodbye. Such a beautiful song, guys. You should listen to it. You know, it ain't that I can't let him go. I just want to say goodbye. I want to say my final goodbye. Thank you for everything you did. I love you. It's not your fault. Those are usually the things that they say. Um, but yeah, guys, this, this channel love letter was so beautiful. And when that boy hopped into me, he was 27 when he died, by the way, the guy at Walmart. It was so beautiful. Because his mother finally realized it wasn't her fault. She couldn't have stopped him from hanging out with those guys. You know, and it really helped her. And it really helped him, his soul, to be able to cross over. So yeah, I don't know how this video got so far away. It got away from me. I guess I needed someone to talk to or just to vent. So thanks for letting me vent, guys. Um, I hope that you like this spell. If you watch this whole video, definitely let me know. Um, guys, join my Facebook group. I'm not talking about the one where I post stuff. I mean, that one's cool too. But the other one, that one, we can talk together. We can chat together. We can, you know, post whatever. I only have 24 people right now, so I don't really do much with it. Because why? Um, but... Yeah, I would love for you guys to join my Facebook group or my YouTube family. If you guys are new and you like this video, definitely subscribe because I can make more videos like this. If you want to hear me babble and talk and whatever, we can do that. I would love for you guys to join my YouTube family and my Facebook group, guys, because then we can talk. And that'd be great. Um, so if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe and let me know that, hey, I like this video, do more videos like this, maybe someday I'll go live, I don't know. Um, would you guys like that if I went live, if I did like a live reading and a, just a chit chat? I don't know, guys, I got 500 subscribers and none of you really talk to me, so I don't know what you like, what you want, what you need, okay? I can't know unless you tell me. All right, guys, so, um, yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you made it to the end, bravo to you. You guys are amazing. I love you guys. Bye. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell and join my Facebook group. And if you need a reading, check out my Etsy store, guys. It is linked down below. So is my Facebook group. Join my YouTube family. I would love to have you. Let's chat. You guys, comment. I love your comments. I really do. And I reply to all of them because I love them. All right, guys.
Thank you. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Have a beautiful, blessed week. A beautiful, blessed month. Beautiful blessings are coming your way. So, namaste.